Hello everyone. It's a video solution to a question that appeared in the Tanset 2019 MBA paper. It is a data sufficiency question. In the topic, the data sufficiency question is probability. Medium difficulty question. One, probability of basics. And in the question, there is a trap. That's why it's a medium difficulty question. Let's get started. First, let's see what the question is. Two socks are to be picked at random from a drawer containing only black and white socks. For a drawer, it's got only black and white socks. We're going to be picking two socks. We need to find out the probability. What is the probability that both of the socks that you picked up are white socks? For a drawer, there are socks. Black and white, where are they? I'll take two socks. And the other two socks, white are the probability. Is what the question is. We will look at the statements in a while. Let's quickly run through the four answer options. So, in an alak, every last sufficiency irkopon in the question at test panirkang and pakno. In the version paper, over question ko and the null answer option, ore mar uniform arkum na illa, mati mati kurdakang. So, in the question, every kurdakang and path, let's get into the question, right? Up on the we'll look at the statements. The four answer options are answer option is A. If statement one alone is sufficient, two is not. One alone is sufficient. 2 is not sufficient, then the answer option is A. Answer option is B. If statement 2 alone is sufficient, 1 is not. Exactly opposite, right? So, that is answer option B. 2 alone is sufficient, 1 is not sufficient. Answer option C, the statements are independently not sufficient. Alone, the statements are not sufficient. But when they are taken together, and the statement is said, the information is sufficient to answer the question. Answer option D is an interesting one. Each statement alone is sufficient. Statement 1 matra thaniya answer vandhano. Statement 2 which matra patha alo will get a answer. So, each statement is independently sufficient. Each statement alone is sufficient is what answer option D is. Right. Quick recap. 1 alone sufficient, 2 is not. Answer option is A. 2 alone is sufficient, 1 is not. Answer option is B. Thani thaniya sufficient la. Seth pota together either plus in arithikla. Right. Seth pota you get a answer. Then the answer option is C. Thaniya way statement 1 no sari. Statement 2 no sari. Each is independently sufficient. Then the answer option is D. Right. Again, before looking at the statements, in the question, what is the answer? What is the clarity? What is the question? What kind of an answer? Question is, what is the probability that the two socks that was taken happen to be white in color? That is, what is the probability of white color? Probability is what is the probability? Typically, I will give an answer saying that the probability is 0.24. The probability is 1 by 15. If you have any number, it will either be a decimal or it is going to be a fraction. So, what kind of an answer will we get for this question? We will get a number as an answer. This is the data sufficiency question. Answer number I hear in the when is the data sufficient? The data is sufficient when you have a unique answer. One value. The probability that the two socks taken are white in color is 0.24. One number is 0.24 or 0.27 or 0.93 or 0.93 or 0.93 or 0.93. More than one answer, then the data is not sufficient. So, data is sufficient when you have a unique answer. The data is not sufficient in two cases. Answer is not sufficient. Data is not sufficient. Data is not sufficient. More than one answer is not sufficient. The data is not sufficient. So, keep this perspective. Start by evaluating statement one alone. Process wise, you can do over statement. One alone is sufficient. What do you think about one line? The probability of the first sock being black is 1 by 3. We will say that. Rend socks are there, and rend me white are there, because what probability is there? If the black socks are, the first sock black are there, the probability is 1 by 3. How many socks are there? We don't know. We don't know. So, we can see a number. We will take two numbers and see whether we get the same answer with just this information. First, we will start with the first thing, that there are total of 30 socks. If there is one number, we are just trying with 30 and see. So, how many black socks are there? Number of black socks will be equal to or black socks are equal to probability 1 by 3 na 1 by 3 into 30 which is equal to 10 black socks are equal to 30 socks muttama irindal. We are not saying there are 30 socks. If there are 30 socks muttama irindal number of black socks will be equal to 10. Apa number of white socks are equal to meedi which is equal to 20. In the numbers are equal to probability. You have taken two socks. Rindu me white are equal to. So, first socks white are equal to probability. Motta etana socks are muppad. So the number of ways in which I can take a socks color ape kavala padam edutha muppad vayathil edukka mudiyum. Adhil adhu white are karukk enna probability etana white socks are karukk irubad irukk. So the probability that the sock one anu sallam first sock is white is 20 by 30. Muppad motta socks are karukk 
20 by 30 is the probability of getting the first sock as a white sock. Now, first sock is the second sock. Now, the second sock is the probability. Now, the first sock is the first sock. Of these 29, how many are white? There were 20 white socks. First sock, white sock. Now, the second sock is white sock. 19 white socks. So, and the number of ways of getting a white sock is 19. So, probability the first sock is a white sock is 20 by 30. Probability the second sock is a white sock is 19 by 29. So, probability that both socks are white is 20 by 30 into 19 by 29. This simplify. So, this is equal to 2 by 3 into 19 by 29. So, in the data which answer one answer But this answer is answer the number of socks answer because unique answer is what we are looking for. I'll just change the number. Number of socks are Say, let's say the total number of socks is equal to 15. Up a black one third of 15 because the probability of a black sock is 1 by 3. That is equal to a 5. But white socks which is equal to 10. So Padaninja socks are the will compute the probability. Probability that sock 1 is white is equal to Pathu white socks are Matama Padaninja socks are so, 10 by 15 is the probability that the first sock is white. Probability the second sock is white. Quick as long as you have socks are in the middle, that is white, 9 white. So, 10 by 15 into 9 by 14 is the probability that both socks are white. This is 2 by 3. So, simplify 2 by 3 into 9 by 14. Go back to the previous slide. This is the total socks. This is the probability. Total socks 30 are in the, this was the probability. So, let us pick that number 2 by 3 into 19 divided by 29. This is the probability when the total number of socks is equal to 30. 2 by 3, 2 by 3, Rendic make common. But 9 by 14 is not the same as 19 by 29. Essentially, meaning that number of socks 15 are in the answer. Number of socks 30 are in the answer. Number of socks on the Arvatan where answer. Varu. So, we will get different answers for a different value of the total number of socks. So, with this information given in statement 1, Namlala unique or answer can be given. So, statement 1 alone is not sufficient. Why? Because we are getting more than one answer. We are not getting a unique answer. So, statement 2 is not Statement 1 is sufficient. We will eliminate the answers. This is eliminate the Statement 1 alone is sufficient. Can we eliminate any other answer option? Certainly yes. Look at answer option D. Each statement alone is sufficient. One alone is sufficient. Two alone is also sufficient. Na? D One alone sufficient na? and the answer option is na? D are sufficient. One sufficient is sufficient. Two sufficient is sufficient. Na? Possibility na? So statement one is not sufficient. Na? We can eliminate both these answer options. So twenty-five percent success rate under Statement one evaluate pani we are down to padi padi. Either B or C or C. Let's evaluate statement 2 and check out what we have here. Statement 2 There are 24 white socks in the drawer. There are 24 white socks. How many black socks are there? 3 are there. 24 white are there. Number of black is equal to 6. Probability is equal to 1. Total number of socks will be equal to 30. This white socks is equal to 24. Number of black socks is also equal to 24. Na? Total number of socks na, will be equal to 48. So, this core answer probability. This answer is 24 divided by 30 into 23 divided by 29. In the case, answer is 24 divided by 48 into 23 divided by 47. So, obviously, these are two different numbers. So, number of white socks will not be able to find out a unique answer. There are 24 white socks alone is not sufficient. We need to know the number of black socks. So, statement 2 which we don't have a unique answer. Let's eliminate answer options which are still possible. Statement 1 alone sufficient, A and D eliminate. But statement 2 alone is not sufficient. So, let's eliminate answer option B also. Because only answer option that is left is answer option C. But in the video, I want to prove to you that we have a unique answer when we combine the two statements. Let's just check that out. Rend the statements if we combine money pakro. Combine money pata navaro. The probability of the first sock is black is 1 by 3. The number of white socks is equal to 24. So probability of a black socks is equal to 1 by 3. Na. Draw la the render and the sock na rake. So probability of a white sock will be equal to 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 
into the total number of socks t in irundana that is equal to 24 because the probability that you get a white sock is 2 by 3 into the total number of socks will give us a number of white socks in the draw so idha solve panni paathana number of total number of socks is equal to 24 into 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 36 ipo inda draw la mottama etana socks irukku therinju pochu 36 socks nu therinju pochu 36 socks la 24 socks white nu theriyum so ipo probability kandupidicha or unique value dhan kadaikum so sock 1 is white is 24 by 36 sock 2 is white is 23 by 35 or single unique answer irukke so statements together are sufficient which we knew even before coming into this idala ninga pannave venda exam la answer option a b d eliminate pannitinga c da answer nu mark pannittu poyirunga nama class mode la kathukra mode la irukrana learning mode la irukrana la we basically checking out whether we are getting a unique answer yes we have got a unique answer we eliminated these three answer options so choice c is the correct answer to the question we are at the end of december you know, 3 4 days we are going to have new year wish you all a very happy new year happy new year 2022 2022 ல ஒரு ரெசல்யூஷன் இம்பார்ட்டண்டா எடுங்க இந்த வருஷம் நான் வந்து டான்சர் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் கிளியர் பண்ணி டாப் 100 ரேங்க்ஸ்ல வந்து ஒரு டாப் காலேஜ் இன் தமிழ்நாடுல அட்மிஷன் வாங்கிக்க போறேன்னு ஒரு ரெசல்யூஷன் எடுத்துக்கேன் ஜனவரி 1 ஆம் தேதி நீங்க உங்க டான்சர் प्रिपरेशन ஆரம்பிச்சாலுமே ஃபுல்லா டான்சர் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் வந்து फेब्रुवारीல வரும் மார்ச் எண்ட் மார்ச் மிட்ல எக்ஸாம் இருக்கும் கிட்டத்தட்ட 75 80 நாள் உங்க கையில இருக்கு 75 to 80 days if you spend 2 hours a day systematically is sufficient to get into the top 100 ranks in tansert so idu varaikku ninga tansert preparation aarambikkalenaalum ipa aarambichu you will be able to do justice to it don't delay it any further tansert preparation pandradhukku pre recorded online classes vaanuna get in touch with us right reach us out on this number 9600048484 vignesh sir nu irpaaru avaru videos la pannuvaaru vignesh sir ta ninga pesa mudiyum we are also starting live online classes for tanset and the classes pathi details vanalo vignesh sir ta ketu neenga therinjikalam best wishes and wish you all a very very happy new year